Hey YouTube and BHL Schneep here. Today we'll be making a banner that you can use sort of like this one. So first thing you want to do is go into Cinema 4D and make sure all your materials are loaded. And just go to your render settings, make sure output 300 by 30. Then under frame range, still in output, go do all frames. And then under save on the left, go to format, quicktime movie, and make sure you have quicktime installed. Click on alpha to channel, and then just save this wherever you want. And then make sure anti-aliasing is on either geometry or best. And then if you want, you can use effect or ambient inclusion, like go to effect and then ambient inclusion or global illumination. If you're going to use Global Illumination, go to Radiance Cache File and uncheck Autosave. But they do take a lot longer to render. So first thing you're going to want to do is go grab a plane under the objects and make it really big. And then just change the pitch of the plane to 90 and should now basically be a wall. So you can, now we're going to add lights. You can use whatever you want. I'm going to use uh, Grayscale Gorilla's Light Kit Pro. So let me load that. It's still loading. Okay, once it's done loading, we're going to add a camera and then just click the black box and it'll turn white and now set your camera's position so you can uncheck out of that now and then just grab your overhead softbox and move it back to make it better lighting and then we're going to copy and paste that so now we have two softboxes or two lights And then change the pitch, I believe, is 35. Yeah. So now you just want to move the softbox down to like the edge of the first one. So they're like connected. Okay, so now that you have that lighting in, go to MoGraph, MoTeX and lower down the text size if you need to. Now just type in your text and I'm just gonna say come play with or come play infected. And then just drag this out so you can actually see it. And then make the depth about 100. Make sure it's like fit into it and it's centered. And then change your font to whatever you think looks good. It looks best if it's more of a chunky font. Like that's too big. So I'm just gonna use this one. Once you're done with that, you can apply whatever color you want to it. and then go drag it all the way down and go to caps on it and then start cap, full A cap, and then end cap, full A cap. And make the caps either three or four because five's a little big. <coughs> Once you have that you can copy and paste it using command V on a Mac or control V on a Windows. And then I'm just going to say with schneep. I'm just going to rename the layers. Okay, so now we're going to highlight both of them and just move them up here. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is start animating. What you want to do is grab your first layer and select a keyframe. And then go to however long you want the transition to be. Uh, 
just select your marker there. So I'm going to use 20 frames for my transition. And then select your keyframe. Like move it down, select your keyframe. And then I'm just going to rotate it 360 degrees so it does a little spin. Okay, so now that you have the keyframe and you click play, it should just do a quick spin and then just stay there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is first thing you're going to want to do is go back to your layer and then choose how long you want it to stay there. So I'm going to say stay make it stay there for 30 frames. And then I'm going to add another 20, I'm going to do 10 frames for the transition. So slide it over, select a keyframe, and then go back to your next, your next frame, your slide that you want. Select keyframe, and then just do 20 frames for the transition again. Move it down, rotate it. and then select your keyframe. You want to do all the effects first like before you set the keyframe or else it won't save. Once you're done with that you want to make it stay there again so I'm gonna make it stay there for another 30 frames so 110 frames but I only have 90 so to change that go down here and just change the frames so I'm gonna do 120 125 and then you just want to set it and then we'll just go to 125 at the very end and just drag it all the way over there and then click on the keyframe once you have that done you can add whatever background you want to your plane so if I want an image create new material and then under color and texture there's three dots select any file you want for it so let's say I want this abstract and I drag it onto it the entire thing is going to be like whatever color the material is or whatever the picture is but for the sake of the tutorial I'm just going to use a preset that I downloaded once the material is done loading you can drag it onto the plane and then if it's like a stone material or like a metal material click on the material tag under the plane and then go to projection cubic and then once you're done with all the settings and you know it you know this is what you want just click on the render icon this window should pop up it should start rendering if you have global, global illumination or ambient inclusion it'll take a lot longer but yet it also does look better so it depends if you want better quality or if you want it done faster I'll come back to this when it's done rendering. Okay, now it's done rendering. You can see what it looks like by pressing the play button at the bottom. So it says come play infected with Schneep. So once you're done with that, it should be saved wherever you saved it during the render settings. If not, go to file, save as, and just save it. Now go into Photoshop and exit open your file that you just made once it's done opening you should do file save for web and devices and then make sure your render settings are on looping options at the bottom make sure that's on forever so it keeps repeating itself and make sure at the top it's gif so it's an animation and I'll come back when this is done loading because for some reason it's taking a while. Okay, so now that it's done loading, you can play it here. And it should play, but it's a little laggy. But it will be in the beginning. If you did play it, go back here so it starts at the first frame. Go to looping options forever, like I said before, and 
save it. Once it's done saving, you can upload it to an image loading website, image uploading website, and just paste it into your banner code. Alright, bye, and see you later.